Hey, it's Dr. Nussi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com back again with another video. And in this one, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to give you some real world examples of how long potentially marijuana can stay in your system. And I'm doing this video after doing several videos where I give estimations based on people's use and body type of how long marijuana will stay in their system. And I get tons and tons of comments on those videos with individuals stating that it doesn't exactly fit uh, with their real world example. So in this video, I'm going to give some real world examples. So it is still very important to note that marijuana on how long it will stay in your system is very individualized and that's because it is a fat soluble substance. Again, I have done a number of videos on that subject specifically, but I want to give some real world examples here and I have actually done that. I've collected data in two different ways. So the first thing that I'm going to go over is I did find two volunteers that were using marijuana and have agreed to quit using and then test on a regular basis to see how long until they test negative, until they test clean for marijuana. And then number two is I put up a survey a while back on my YouTube page asking for feedback, asking for feedback from people in the real world with real life examples and asking them how long it took for them to test negative. All right, so let's go through each of these two methods individually, and I will start with the two individuals that agreed to stop using, test on a regular basis, and then share the results with me. And I know that uh, two individuals, that's not a large sample set. Um, it's just with marijuana still being a Schedule One substance, it is very difficult to do any kind of legitimate research on it. Um, I really do hope that once it gets rescheduled to Schedule 3 that I can be a part of more rigorous research and studies on marijuana, testing times, how it affects the human body, etc. But for now, this is what I've got the best I could do. I got two individuals to test on a regular basis after quitting use of marijuana. They used the Exploro Home Drug Test that I recommend in every one of my videos because of its accuracy and because it has the same cutoff levels as traditional lab tests. And then they filled out this Excel spreadsheet giving me the results. All right, so again, we have two individuals. The first here is a male. He is six foot three, 230 pounds. And very important to note is he said that he was a light user and he was what I would define as a light user, meaning he just used occasionally maybe a couple, three times per month. And all I asked of him was to stop using and then to test. He didn't do anything special after stopping use except for to test on a regular basis. And then volunteer number two is a female. Now she is five foot two, 155 pounds. And it's important to note that I would consider her to be a super heavy user. So she uses basically daily, sometimes multiple times per day. And also very important to note with her is that I did ask her to change her behavior after stopping use. And what I did was ask her to use the techniques that we teach at exploroacademy.com. Now, because she is a super heavy user, we would expect her to test longer than the male volunteer who is a light user. And that is why I asked her to go through exploroacademy.com to see if we could potentially bring her testing times down. All right, and here are the results, and we'll start with the male, the light user, and we had them use, or we allowed them to use, and made sure that they did use all the way up until New Year's Eve, and then got that fresh start, uh, the New Year's resolution, or whatever you want to call it, uh, on January 1st. So they, he tested on January 1st, and he tested positive, and then we had him test again on the 6th, and again, he tested positive, and then he tested again on the 11th, and that was the first time that the Exploro test, and again, I will leave links to these tests in the description box below, the Exploro test that I recommend, but this was the first time that the Exploro test showed a 
faint line, meaning he was just under the 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff. So he tested negative on the 11th. So it took him 11 days. All right, now here's where it gets interesting. The female volunteer. Now remember, she is a super heavy user. She was using daily, multiple times a day, all the way up to January 1st. Here's her spreadsheet. Uh, on the first, she tested positive and was not using. So she was not using from the first on. Now remember, she started going through exploroacademy.com and using the techniques that hopefully will help her to test negative in a shorter period of time. She tested again on the six, she tested again positive, meaning on the Exploro home drug test, there was no line in the test field. And then on the 11th, amazingly to my, really to my astonishment, I thought she would test uh, negative in a shorter time period, but I was expecting, you know, a little less than a month. So by day 11, she was testing negative, meaning she got a, a faint pink line in the test field on the Exploro home drug test. So I know that, again, this is just two examples and certainly individual results are going to vary, but I thought this was worth sharing. And, and I also thought it was worth noting that there potentially are things that you can do to help yourself test negative in a shorter period of time. All right, so let's move on to the survey I put out on my YouTube page. All right, so the survey, the poll I put up on YouTube, and it actually got a pretty good response. 173 people actually participated, which I thought was really good. Um, it asked a few different questions, or it asked people to kind of put themselves in a particular category, and I let people self-define. So they could define themselves as a light user by whatever method they wanted to, or a heavy user by whatever method they wanted to. I didn't put any parameters on it, like you have to be using this amount to qualify as a light user, or this amount to qualify as a heavy user. So the different responses that people could select is, I'm a light user and it took less than a month to test clean. I'm a light user and it took over a month to test clean, or, I'm a heavy user and it took less than a month to test clean. I'm a heavy user and it took more than a month to test clean, which basically means one month to three months. Or I'm a heavy user and it took more than three months to test clean. And you can see the percentages uh, over on the right hand side here. Now we are going to break these down into the light users that responded and the heavy users that responded. So we have to do a little math to convert the percentages, but um, here first, are the light users. All right, so again, we have to do a little math to convert the percentages because again, we're splitting off the light users that responded from the heavy users that responded. But as far as just the light users, the light users that it took less than a month to test clean were 75%. So of the light users that responded, 75% of them said that it took less than a month to test clean and 25% said that it took more than a month to test clean. And then again, converting the uh, percentages again, because we're splitting off the heavy users, the heavy users that it took uh, less than a month to test clean, 29.4%. Heavy users that it took more than a month or between one month and three months, again, exactly the same, 29.4%. And here's what was really surprising is, the heavy user that it took more than three months to test clean, that was 41.2% of the heavy users that responded. So again, as I've said in a number of other videos, is the federal government says that it should take about a month to test negative if you are a marijuana user after stopping use. There's been some research showing that it can be two months or maybe even a little bit longer. But again, from the feedback that I got, on this poll, 40, almost 42% of the respondents that were heavy users, and they were defining themselves as heavy users, were testing positive still after three months. So that's the data, those are the facts. Uh, please leave me any comments you have in the comments section below. I love reading those comments, responding to them, and then sometimes making videos based on those comments. Uh, check out exploroacademy.com. Check out the link in the description box below for my preferred home drug tests. 
And until next time, everybody, stay safe.